All right, guys, Dave Mike 6 we are back at the Dragon Lair, Las Vegas, and I have for the first time on JTV, Christina Nicole Mendoza. Welcome to JTV, Christina. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> no, you look very, very good. We were actually in the gym with Jay yesterday, and he spotted you and he said, we got to get this girl on the channel, and here we are just one day later. How do you feel about being on JTV? Oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Jay. I appreciate it. Uh, this is awesome. You must have made an impression. I hope so. That, that's a compliment, especially being uh, two weeks out from Chicago Pro. So that's a good thing. So two weeks out. So, um, uh, Christina, I want you to go back a little bit and give people an idea of how you got into bodybuilding, uh, how long ago was that, and how you made it uh, to the pros and where you are today. Okay. Um, so I actually originally um, I'm a dancer slash gymnast cheerleader. Um, after high school, I kind of stopped activities. And then around 2012 is when I started weight training. Um, I didn't get into bodybuilding till 2016, and I had no idea really much about bodybuilding at all. I, I first thought I was going to do figure. <laughs> and then um, as I started training, they're like, uh, no, they're not figure. So I think, I believe bodybuilding wasn't really in at the moment because I know they had like a fight. You took a hiatus. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I went into women's physique uh, uh, as an MPC. I placed actually second my first uh, women's physique show. I went, Which was? Um, it was a Diana Classic in Miami. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was such a great show. Diana Cadeau. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, it was amazing. So that was a great uh, first start. I loved it after that. After that, I loved being on the stage. Um, as I kept training, the judges always mentioned that your legs are just so massive for women's physique. Um, so I, I tried to, like, dumb down my training a little bit to get my legs to shrink. No good? No, it was... I stopped like weight training my legs and I would do like a bunch of plyometrics and everything to kind of lean them out and get them smaller. And then I met my uh, first real coach and he looked at me and he's like, you are women's bodybuilding. He's like, my wife is a pro women's physique and you are definitely women's bodybuilding. So I kind of hesitated at first, you know, I think everyone does when they're in one category and they're dedicated to that and then they're just, all of a sudden I have to switch. So um, I decided to switch over to women's bodybuilding, and it was the best decision I've ever made. Um, I competed at the USA's 2017. I placed third, and then first one. Yes. Wow. Yes. And then um, in two, also 2017, I uh, did nationals, um, which was located in Miami in November, and I placed fourth in that one. That's where Elena, Alina Popa and Jake Woods uh, kind of spotted me and they were kind of bringing up with uh, Wings of Strength at the moment. Yes, yes. Uh, so Elena actually reached out to me that year and she said, you did great, you know, you just need to certain improvements and et cetera. And that's how I became the next year uh, Wings of Strength ambassador in 2018. And I've been ever since a, a Wings of Strength ambassador, which has been the best opportunity ever. And I'm so grateful for that. And um, as of this year, I began prepping with Michaela Acock, which I've always admired her training. She's such a hard worker. She's a selfless, she's just so giving and caring. She cares more about her clients than she does herself. Um, and it really does show on when she's uh, communicating with you. <clears throat> and um, it's been the best prep so far. It's the, the best look I've had so far. So I'm really excited to get on stage and showcase uh, the new and improved Christina Nicole Mendoza. So where did you uh, earn pro status? Which competition? I earned it at the, uh, Miss Inter yeah, the Miss International Classic, which is in Chicago Pro. Okay. But it's like a nationals only for women's bodybuilding. Okay. What year was and that? That was 2019. 2019. Yes. So you're brand new pro almost. Pretty Couple much. Years. Yes, yes. Two years in. All right. So how many pro shows have you done since you got your pro status? I did, right after I got my pro card, I did the Rising Phoenix, which is the world championships. Yes. That's, a, that's a, you, you picked a big one. Yeah, it was a little intimidating. It was kind of like the opportunity was there because I got overall women's bodybuilding when I earned my pro card, and that automatically qualified me for Miss Rising Phoenix. It's big money, too. It's big money, too. I did not place in that show, but it was a great you know, opportunity and experience to be next to legends that I've looked yes. up to. Um, champion. Oh my God, yes. So it was a great learning experience. Uh, this year I'm going back, but this time I'm hoping to either win or place a lot better. Um, and then I also did Savannah Pro, which I placed um, sixth place. That's good, top six. It was okay. I haven't hit my best um, physique yet, and I know that. Till so today. Till today, and, and Chicago Pro is gonna show. 
So what have you been working the most since, uh, obviously, since the amateur when they were telling you, you know, you're obviously uh, bottom heavy and of course you have to bring your upper body up, which, yes. which looks great today. But is that what you've been focusing on since, since then? Yes. So when I started with Michaela, um, we actually only train legs once a week. Every other day is upper body. Okay. I do have two rest days. But I hit um, upper body Monday through Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday I do legs. Okay. You have a really good training partner too here at the Dragon Lair. You want you want to talk about him over for a second? Yes, the, um, my husband Joey Belt. Um, Are you married? I didn't know you. I didn't know you were married. Well, he's my fiance, but we okay. just say husband okay. wife because. I thought maybe I skipped a beat or something. Pretty much married. Okay. <laughs> let's get him in here. Let's let's bring him in. Joey, come here, man. What's going on, Dave? All right, man. Good, man. Then, so your girl, your wife, <laughs> yes. looks great. I, we see you guys training all the time together, and uh, it's very uh, motivating for a lot of us. You guys are killing it in here. You're pushing her. You're pushing everybody, actually, in this gym. Uh, tell me a little bit about what, what it's like to, to train with her. So, you know, um, in the beginning, I was a little bit, um, I kind of, I, I, I'm not going to say I questioned it, but, you know, once you get into the mode of, uh, getting involved with your partner's training. Uh, it's tricky sometimes. It, it, it is because, as you know, Dave, you've been in the game long enough that sometimes people butt heads. Um, but this time around, Christina's my, mindset was a lot different. And it, and it really seemed like she wanted to go beyond um, what she's used to. So my biggest part here was um, basically backfilling, um, in a sense, what Michaela Acock was having her wanting to do and actually just pushing her through her workouts on a daily, yeah. on a daily basis. And um, this has been by far, um, I'm not going to say easiest in the sense of prep, but for me in the sense of um, just pushing her without any like, you know, like, conflict. yeah, any conflict. <laughs> so she was just there to just listen and go. And it made things so uh, simple in that manner where you know, I'm just pushing her to, to, to the limits. And it, it's been a blessing, like, um, seeing her evolve from where she's come from and her, most importantly, that mindset um, has been something unbelievable. And, and, and it's, to me, um, just, just, just seeing this happen in front of my eyes, it's, I can't even explain it. It's got to be motivating uh, for you too, because of course you compete as well. So it pushes you to be better. Also, I mean, obviously she's, you know, she's a pro already, but you're right there. So I'm sure that that may help you a lot with your motivation and your your goals. Yes, sir. So right now at the moment, you know, I was I was focused in my off season, but I had to step back. And you know, they say that the sport is selfish. Um, I believe that it's only selfish if you want it to be, because you're always going to have people in your corner. She's been, she's had my back since, since the jump. So for me to step back and, and, and put my, um, my, my focus to the side and focus on her was, was, not a, was not even a question. So yeah, I mean, she motivates me and, um, and every, every day, every day it, it makes, makes both of us better. So, and that's the thing about being, um, you know, her partner um, in everything. It's just, we, we push each other and, it's about what's next, you know, um, and just getting better on the daily. And it's, it's, a, it's a blessing, and I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. We do what, you know, uh, we've been blessed um, abundantly, and, and I thank God every day uh, for everything that he's doing and that he's going to continue to do. And I know that she's pushing herself because she knows that the, the, the women's bodybuilding group um, that's coming up, th those females are amazing, all of them, all of them from Andrea Shaw, from Margie, um, you have uh, a, um, Ashley, uh, Ashley Young, right? Alicia Young. Alicia Young. I'm sorry, Alicia. My bad. Um, and uh, 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 Michaela Acock. Um, there's a lot of girls out there that are, are pushing the limits too, and it keeps her motivated. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's about bringing her best self and her best shape possible. Um, but those girls do push her to the limit, and that's and that's uh, and that's what this sport is about. Um, people always say that, you know, um, don't focus on your competition. However, you think Jay Cutler and, 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 and Ronnie Coleman <laughs> didn't have, you know. You have no choice. You have to think about it. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. So it's a blessing every day. So, um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So pushing her these final weeks um, has been a dream come true.
Well, we love to see you guys train in the gym. I don't know if people tell you, uh, but I, I'll tell you. It's nice to see a couple train together at the highest level and uh, achieve their goal. I think it's great for people. I, I think if people get to train together, sometimes it's just it makes them even stronger as a couple. So we appreciate it. Oh, it definitely yeah. has. It definitely yeah. has. Let me, let me finish talking to you. Yes, Thanks for sure. coming, yes. Joey. Yep. All right, so um, Christina, tell me, uh, not that he's not here anymore, tell me, <laughs> tell me, is it, is it much sometimes, is it too much sometimes to have two competitive bodybuilders in the same house? How, how do you handle the dieting and the, the cooking and all that stuff? I mean, it's nice right now because like you said, he's off season, you're competing, but did you guys ever prep at the same time and how does that go? Yes, we have prepped at the same time. Um, when we first started, like when we first started dating, it was a, you had to get used to each other and in, in all that sense. But it's for every couple, right? That's every couple, especially when you're prepping too. Like what are his moods when he's in yeah. diet and et cetera. Who's the moodiest? Um, <laughs> he is. <laughs> he's I the moodiest. I think all guys are. They don't want to admit it. Um, but it's been great actually, whether he's off season and I'm on prep or vice versa, we're both on prep, we constantly push each other. When we're both on prep, we're, we're on the same schedule. If not, he's like, hey, put your alarm on, you gotta go out and get cardio done, or he'll help me with the dishes or food prep, and who, who cook? Who cooks the most? Oh, I do, I really? do, yes. Are you the cook? I'm the cook. Oh, I'm he, the he locked out. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm the cook, the clean, the laundry, you know, all that oh, stuff. Man, he's got it made. No wonder he wants to get made. <laughs> oh, awesome. oh, but he's, he's great, he supports my every move. Every decision I, I come to him with, he's very supportive. So I'm, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. What do you want to do with this whole bodybuilding thing? What's the end goal? The end goal is to become the world champion, Miss Olympia, for years on end um, until I decide to retire. Yeah. Do you have like a, do you have like a plan? Okay, I'm going to do this for five years, seven years, or do you kind of just roll by the? To be honest, I don't like to set a certain date. Um, you never know day to day. As long as you love it. As long as I love it, as long as uh, my body allows it, as long as, you know, all of that. But I do plan to become Miss Olympia and continue to be Miss Olympia for as long as I can. Um, I think uh, I think the bodybuilding community are very happy with the Miss Olympia being back uh, in, uh, you know, in the lineup. We miss you guys for a long time. You guys, like, like Joe was saying, uh, are working so hard, just like the guys are doing it. And uh, I think it was something missing for those few years without uh, female bodybuilding. So I'm really and glad you guys are back. I got to thank uh, Jake Woods, yeah, the Popa, best. Wings of Strength, the whole crew. Um, they did such an amazing job to promote this. When I first started with Wings of Strength, uh, we actually did like an expo, in the LA Expo. Mm -hmm. And nobody even knew what Wings of Strength was when they came at, by the booth. And now everybody knows Wings of Strength. Everybody wants to be a part of it. And of course, because he's he's really grown. I think it's one of the fastest growing organizations um, in the bodybuilding atmosphere. Yeah. So I'm really grateful for what they've done and um, the way that they've shifted women's bodybuilding uh, to be more promotable, uh, to show women that you know you still can be beautiful and strong, not to be afraid of the you know the category that they made it seem to be back then. So I'm really grateful for them, um, and I'm just excited to continue. All right, so Chicago in, I think we're two weeks out now, right? Two weeks? Uh, to be exact, 11 days. 11 days, okay. So Chicago, is there any plan of doing anything else? Or, uh, I mean, I'm sure it depends if you're going to win or not. But it, it, let's say you come close. Do you have anything planned after that or no? Um, the plan is to win Chicago. Um, and then I am doing Rising Phoenix September 11th. Okay. And then hopefully uh, the, the Olympia. Yeah. If for some reason it does not go my way in Chicago, I still have either Tampa Pro or the Savannah Pro. Right. Haven't decided exactly yet. Um, just depends how my body responds yeah. and my coach and I will discuss that afterwards. But the goal is to win, so yes. plan A. That's right, <laughs> yeah, no plan B. It's always good in the back of your mind anyway, but you look great. Uh, we're grateful you came on the channel today. I'm sure people will be looking for you uh, in two weeks, uh, in 11 days in Chicago. And then I wish you the best of luck and I hope you come back on the channel. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Dave, my Mexics with Christina Nicole for JTV, and we're out.